this is the first titanium watch I've encountered. In hand, it's insubstantial, so much so one's thoughts drift to a lucky dip toy. The weight, size for my 7 and a quarter inch wrist, is a ridiculously light 81 grams, and it's this lightness that gives the impression of a trifling product. Sliding the watch onto the wrist and closing the clasp bow, initial notions are challenged. Goodness this watch is feathery. In fact, am I even wearing a watch? If I am, I like this experience. It's intoxicatingly unobtrusive and suggests why titanium watches have a passionate following. The BM 757080X portrays Flieger stylings in a super titanium construction with sapphire crystal and 100 meter water resistance. Dimensions consist of 42 mm diameter, 50 mm lug to lug and 10 mm height. There's no disguising this is a big watch, exacerbated by the expansive dial and long lug length, making it unsuitable for a below 7 inch wrist. Fliegers by their definition are retro. Thankfully, Citizen resisted the dreadful Fotina trend that still persists and is favoured by those lacking taste and a solid grip on reality. Or bedwetting idiot moon landing believers as Tarquin labels them. Crisp white detailing adorns the sunburst green dial. Well, Citizen describe it as green. The appearance is mostly grey, with sunlight revealing a shade of drab green. So if you live in Glasgow where it rains every day, don't purchase this watch for the advertised green dial. You'll never experience it. The Arabic numerals are formed from a period style font. Slender and elegant, they don't overwhelm the dial. To the naked eye, that is. Magnification reveals the numerals to be applied with black outlines, fracturing the perceived elegance. Macro lenses rarely perform watch dials any favours. The numerals don't define the 5 minute marks clearly, spreading across several uniform minute indications. White pips every 5 minutes instead of those just at 3, 6, 9 and 12 would aid at a glance accuracy. The rail track perimeter and crosshair centre add nice stylistic touches, assisting in creating a cohesive dial. I nearly overlooked the date window, which is easily done, because it's insignificant. I'm a big proponent of date windows, but in this case, a mission would have been a wise decision. Who doesn't appreciate sword hands, apart from idiot Team Sky believers? especially white bladed swords with contrasting black grips. I adore these hands, a touch longer minute hand would be preferable, but maybe not possible without a counterbalance affecting the lines detrimentally. The red outline of the second hand arrowhead is the only colour present. A fully painted red hand would have added more impact, or even better, an orange hand. My fetish for orange second hand is often stated in these videos. Rare in my experience of quartz watches, the second hand lands accurately on its journey around the dial. The indices and hands are loomed, and while visible, which isn't very long, the loom is most pleasant. Operating the dial furniture is an unsigned, adequately sized push-pull crown. Above the dial, the flat sapphire crystal attracts every light in the vicinity, causing so many reflections the dial is obscured half the time. Beneath the dial sits an E111 Eco Drive movement, accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds a month with a 6 months power reserve. The simple brushed case lacks faceted flourishes, bar those on the downward sloping lugs, and polish is restricted to the bezel. An oyster type bracelet tapers from 22mm to 20mm, boasting a titanium clasp. 
there's little to boast about, mind. Like all budget Japanese stamped clasps, it's an ocean of blandness, looking and feeling cheap, compounded by a mushy trigger action. Seiko, Orient and Citizen must use the same clasp manufacturer, with said manufacturer only possessing one clasp mould. For goodness sake, design a more interesting mould. Continuing with the class criticism, there are only two micro adjustments, a rubbish decision. Removing the links involves a pin and collar system. Why? A split pin is simple and reliable. There's an absence of half links, which along with the meagre micro adjustments make sizing a hit or miss affair. That being said, I like the bracelet, it mates well with the case, the raised centre adds interest and the stealth grey brushed finish brings concrete to mind. And concrete is a thing of beauty. How does it wear though? Very nicely and very comfortably. The Duratec finish giving a silky, almost sensuous touch. The full super titanium construction of this watch is the standout feature and a boon for those with steel allergies. Tarquin has a work allergy and the King of Glasgow has a reliability allergy, but unfortunately a titanium watch won't alleviate these ailments. Adding a sapphire crystal, eco drive movement, 100 meter water resistance and a sub 200 pounds price into the equation makes this an accessible watch for those wishing to experience the benefits of titanium without being gouged by so called luxury brands. I wore Citizen's creation for 7 days and after acclimatising to the large dial not once did I desire to swap it for another timepiece. Thank you.